Hey guys, it's Anya. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am going to be sharing with you my friend mail from Stephanie from Steph Loves Life 2. Uh, go check out her channel. She is amazing. She works at a winery um, and she has a massive love of fragrance, whether it be body fragrance or home fragrance. And her nose and her descriptions are the best. Um, I thoroughly enjoy watching her videos and we've just kind of connected. Um, so she had asked me for my address and she sent me some goodies. So I've already opened these boxes. They took two weeks to get here because they had to be transported via truck across from California to Alabama. So <laughs> I'm checking status on the tracking for forever um, and I was worried that they would be lost so anyway um, we're already a minute in so let me just go ahead and get into what she sent um, first off I gotta show you this card wow my hair looks redonkulous okay <laughs> um, and then the inside says you make me smile she is so sweet. So she says, Anya, I hope you have fun with all the goodies. Some are from these stashes. Most are from my own collection. Enjoy, my friend. And she said, P.S. Frangetica.com is where you will get the scent, the note. She said the note scents for the perfume. So I'm guessing she meant scent notes. But same, same. We know how that works. Dyslexia is a thing that happens to all of us, whether we have been diagnosed or not. <laughs> so I love this. I think this is so freaking cute. Um, and I do need to say that I have already tried to film this once and my point and shoot camera died, had, had no more memory. So I wiped a 20 gigs of data off my phone so we can record this. So we're going to get started with the perfume that she sent me. Um, this is Burberry. This is absolutely lovely. I have smelled this before. This is a very feminine, kind of fruity, little touch of, I want to say maybe like vanilla orchid or, hmm. I need to look up the notes on this. This is lovely though. It's like a fruity floral with a little woodsiness to it. I will look up the notes on that, my friends. And if I find it, I can post it down in the description. And if not, then we can just all go by my randomness. Okay, so we have K K Ali, and this is Utopia Vanilla Cocoa, twenty twenty one. Yeah, that's lovely. To me, this is like a summer evening perfume. I'm getting notes of the vanilla, vanilla, of course, and the chocolate. There's definitely chocolate in here. Maybe like a chocolate amber. Maybe some marshmallow. But like sophisticated marshmallow. I love that. I have the perfect tray to put these on. It's not going to be a mirrored glass. Um, <clears throat> but it is going to be... Uh, it's a handcrafted. We went to this place in Helen, Georgia, and we went to this cottage. It's called the Lavender Cottage, and it's a handcrafted tray that has lavender pressed into it and painted it and glazed. It's beautiful. So I will definitely be putting these on there. Uh, next up is Silage House of oh, Perfumery. I think she wore this recently. I can't get this to focus. There we go. I like that too. 
So I'm not a big, huge, like, woo. Um, <clears throat> I don't like a lot of florals in perfume or house fragrance. I'm not big on that, but this is, this is, I typically go for like sweet gourmand, caramely woods, <clears throat> amber sort of notes. This is beautiful. Um, yeah, I'll definitely put the scent notes, scent note descriptions, or the scent notes on the perfumes in the description box since I suck at this. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so Prada. This is probably one of the most expensive things I have in my house now. <laughs> so thank you, Stephanie. Oh, I think I put this on. Yeah, I put this on. Oh, I love this. This is so, so beautiful. Um, definitely vanilla. And I would say sort of like a, a bakery, gourmand, cakey sort of scent. And I'm picking up marshmallow. I don't know. This is a very beautiful, delicious fragrance. It's like grown up, grown woman fragrance. And I love the bottle. Like it looks orange and blue right now because of lighting in here, but it's pink with a gradient to like royal blue or purple. Beautiful. Thank you, Stephanie. So generous of you. I can't believe you sent me four. <laughs> so thank you I was I was I don't know I didn't know what to expect um this is my first friend mail so I'm highly appreciative and it's a lot of fun like um I'm currently working on my box for her oh I gotta wait till payday because uh, but to send from here anywhere else in the country it can be kind of hefty but I'm gonna figure it out Oh, all the salt in that small box. So she gave me a scoopable in L3. And this is my focusing. Uh, coconut shortbread, sugar cookie dough, Palo Santo, toasted mallow, and bonfire bliss. Oh, that is so good. I love Palo and rich cookies. Oh, that is so good. I gotta know if that's one of her favorites. I'll have to ask her, but that is so yummy. This, I just uh, picked up four this size scoopables from L3. So that'll be nice to have in my arsenal. Um, next up into the next box, I have Whiteout from Scentsy. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, so I didn't get this far. So I was afraid. And this is good. Peppermint, and I'm getting the apple. Shut up. I thought, you know, it was going to be strong like uh, Peppermint Rush or Peppermint Dreams, but no. This is, this is going to be great. For days that um, I'm dealing with a headache, or even the winter time. I, I love that. Next up, oh, she's giving me some teddy bees. This is lavender patisserie. Um, this is sweet lavender warm donuts, baked bread, powdered sugar, and a hint of spice. I'm definitely getting, hold on. <clears throat> it is a sweet lavender. And I'm, the first thing I'm picking up is the fried donut. But I am so here for Lavender Bakery. I love this. This is beautiful. Thank you. Ooh, a wax I haven't tried yet. Vanilla or Violet Spun Sugar. And I think it's about to rain because it just got really dark in here. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, that is so stinking pretty. I heard a lot of people talking about this. I'm like, I violets and lilac. I'm not. I 
I can't do it, but this is so nice. Um, I might have to see if I can find some more of that. That's lovely. I mean, it smells like a cotton candy variation. I'm really, really, really cool with that. Glitterati, we have blue sugar, pineapple, orchid. Focus. There we go. Interesting. I don't know what I'm smelling. I don't not like it. It's like a I know blue sugar is a perfume base. I don't know the notes in blue sugar. I imagine there's a masculine version of pink sugar. And then the pineapple orchid. That'll be interesting to see. I might have to put that in my sash for next spring and fall. Spring and fall? Spring and summer. Okay, so we have two frozen hot chocolates from VCS. get this to work here okay so this is hot cocoa topped with miniature marshmallows and a peppermint stick <laughs> she's very picky on her peppermint so she's like I have someone to give it to this is like marshmallow mint cocoa I'm so glad to have this because I am almost out of marshmallow mint cocoa um, and I didn't think I like chocolate in wax but I like it with the peppermint this is Amazing. Uh, so we have Zape uh, back to the 90s sampler. This is CK1. It just smells like soap to me. It doesn't smell like CK1. I have one. It's clean. I mean, it just smells like a clean, masculine, soapy scent. It's fine. It'll go on my fresh. My fresh stash. I like the fresh scents for the bathroom. Um, we have L3 strawberry pound cake and a clammy. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, the strawberry pound cake vanilla but it okay so I don't know if it's because of all the other waxes but it's kind of giving me like a skunky vibe <laughs> we'll see how it comes on warm I'll let I'll kind of separate everything out and let it chill like get back to the way it was one reason why I do like clams though is that they can kind of reacclimate and they're in a thicker plastic so hopefully that'll help um ooh a tobacco one we have a zape Speakeasy, mahogany, tobacco, and coconut. Oh, that's so beautiful. I'm picking up on all of it. Don't come out. It's not coming out. That is so nice. Um, the woodsy part of mahogany is, oh, this is just beautifully blended to me. This is, I'm getting the coconut and the tobacco. And the tobacco and the mahogany just give it a s sultry sexiness. Oh, I think that's going to be my description for tobacco from here on out. Love it. <laughs> oh, wow. A whole brittle muscadine bubble gum. Mm. Muscadines are great. This smells like grape bubblicious. Oh, I love it. Oh, I don't have any grape. I just got a sample of like Time Warp from L3. This, <laughs> this is so great. Yeah, this is definitely grape and bubblegum. Very sweet. Very strong. And yes, I'm here for it. 
we have Rose Girls American Cream Blend. Yeah, I'm almost out of time. American Cream. This smells like a body care vanilla marshmallow. Even with the campfire marshmallows. I like it. That'll be nice to like blend with like some strawberry or even like I have oodles of orange. This will be fantastic with that. And we have L3 Almost Alice. Is it focusing on that? There we go. Ta da! Okay. Come on now. There we go. Viva La Juicy. Juicy Couture type with pink berries, taco beans, and vanilla. Very fruity, sweet blend. I could get behind this berries. Yeah. Oh, that is nice. Tonka beans. I think isn't that like a vanilla? I don't I don't know what Tonka is. I know we have had it in Sensi and there's also been other blends I've seen with Tonka. I feel like it adds like a creaminess to it. That is very fruity, very, very yummy. Okay, so we have uh, Rose Girls Girl Crush, strawberry pina colada, and cotton candy. That's that's very sweet. Strawberry, I'm definitely picking up the pina colada, cotton candy. I don't know how else, but it's sweet and creamy at the same time. I don't know how else to describe it, but that's when my nose picks it up. Ooh, another tobacco. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, L3 tobacco. <clears throat> Warm vanilla sugar and black amber. This one's going to be amazing. I can already smell it. This is so nice. I would definitely warm this in the evening. In all of the warmers. Everywhere. <laughs> that tobacco is beautiful. That warm vanilla just gives it like a body care vanilla and that black amber. Sexy AF. Love this. We have Rose Girls Three Little Bears. Birds. <laughs> this is Three Little Birds. Mmm, yes. Like Goldilocks and three bears. No, Anya. Okay, three little birds. I feel like marshmallow and cotton candy. Some sort of fruit. I'm not sure, but that, I like that. And that's five little melters. I can do that for one warm in here. Amazing. <clears throat> we have Swanky Peachy Sunsets. Hold on. Okay, so Peach, I'm oh, sorry, Peach Sunsets. A soapy peach. I don't know how else to describe it, but it smells like clean and soap uh, with a little touch of peach. Um, I don't hate it. I'm okay with it. It's not. It's not like a creamy peach, so I'm. I'm okay with that. We'll just add it to like my sample basket. I've got like an olive bucket uh, in tin. It's a tin olive bucket, just like short, and then putting all my samples in. I'll get through it. Um, next up, we have a toasted pumpkin candy corn streusel cooking from Wax. Oh, it's a RG Wax. Rose Girls. We got toasted pumpkin seeds, candy corn, nutmeg, vanilla, and Rose Girls coffee cake. Oh, that is yummy. 
<laughs> this is gonna be so good. Yeah, I'm I'm getting all of the notes. Like that candy corn is amazing. The nutmeg, the vanilla, coffee cake, like that gives you that bakery base and then the toasted pumpkin seeds. I'm so here for that. Yummy. Next is mango sorbet orange chiffon cake. From L3. Nope. There we go. Okay. I'm excited because I like mango. And I like orange bakery. Yes. That is so good. Now that is a big honking piece. I'm guessing this were two buns. Yep, I love that. I'm getting the mango sorbet in it. The mango sorbet is kind of creamy, and then the orange chiffon cake. I'm picking up buttercream, and then the cake note along with orange. This is beautiful. Love that. Okay, we'll do these little zape shot things. Uh, <laughs> back to 90s. We have Amber Romance. And if this is anything like I remember, I will be passing this along to my sister. Yep. Nope. Can't do it. <laughs> we had a mild obsession with going to Victoria's Secret and picking up all the sprays. So strawberries and champagne, probably the same for her too. Actually, this is really light. Hold on. I'm not a big fan of uh, champagne in wax. Yep, I can't. My sister loves floral and fruit, so I will be sharing those two with her. That's okay. <clears throat> we have Ava's Country Cupboard and Unicorn Wishes. So, like, what, marshmallow and fruit? We're gonna see. It's totally fruity. <laughs> I think these are sunflowers or suns. I'm kind of creepy. Could you imagine saying that you're not paying attention and boom, like in your face? Um, this is very fruity. I want to say punch, pineapple, cotton candy. This is freaking, this is strong too. At least on cold. Um, I like it. I like a fruity. Going in my fruit stash. I have wax all over my hands. Okay, and we have Britta's Cure for something. A Cure for Wellness. Um, bamboo, pink lemonade, garden mint, and cucumber. What the heck? Who puts all these things together? Okay, that's so cute. I don't know what it's supposed to be. That, wait. The first thing I got was the bamboo. And the more I sniff it, I'm picking up the pink lemonade, a garden mint and cucumber. This is very interesting. It smells like a spa scent. Um, I don't hate it. But that bamboo threw me off. And that cute, it's like bamboo cucumber first and then the lemonade and then the mints. I never would have thought of putting those two together. I look like I literally just rolled out of bed, which I kind of did, but I did not. Like I had my hair done. And then we have curly hair problems. <sighs> Whatevs. Um, Bodies Harmony Creamsicle. Focus. Cool. All right. Scent is Creamsicle, Sweet Cream, Vanilla Bean, Noel, and Marshmallows. Poured last year of July. 
That legit smells like a tangerine creamsicle. I actually like that more than um, Cincy's tangerine creamsicle, but we won't tell anybody. Okay, and then I see some Sassy Girl, I'm a, like a cookie, a cookie sampler. Cool. First up is Walt's Sugared Pear, Brown Sugar, Pears, Pineapple, Orange, Strawberries, Cotton Candy, Lemonade, and Whipped Cream. So the Walt blend, or at Walt's, all include the Pineapple, Orange, Strawberry, Cotton Candy, Lemonade, and Whipped Cream. So I will only read the first two notes that are not a part of Walt's blend. I like the pear. Crumbling. Yeah, that's nice. Brown sugar, pears, and then I pick up the pineapple, orange, strawberries, cotton candy. It's interesting. It's like a it's like the the Waltz blend just really kind of overtakes this. But I do smell the pear. And I, I don't really smell the brown sugar. That's okay. I'm interested. I'm always interested to see how things perform out warm before like giving my final assessment. Uh, this one is sugar cookies at Waltz. So like I said, the first three notes or whatever that is not Waltz blend, I will read. So we have sugar, butter, and vanilla, and then all the other things. It kind of reminds me of like a pineapple upside down cake. But then you catch the orange and the lemonade. It's a fruity bakery. I'm okay with it. I like it. I will probably do, let's see. Two, three, four. I could probably cut this in fours and do a new one each day. Okay, so then we have Life in a Bubble at Waltz, Fruity Gumballs, and then Waltz Blend. Gumball. Okay, the bumble, bubble gum, or the gumballs, and then the Waltz Blend is actually, it's very fresh and bright and cheery, like a fruit you would expect a fruit to be. I love that. So I'm like envisioning like a big, like, fruit cup with cotton candy and lemonade to drink and whipped cream like a dole whip and then gumballs decorating it Ow, it puts to sleep anyway that's what i envision when i sniff that okay and then we have waltz huckleberry so we have sweet huckleberry and then waltz blend huckleberry to me always reads i think it's the same as like a it's in the, shoot, I can't remember if it's in the uh, the raspberry family or the that family or if it's a, like a blueberry. That's nice though. And I'm, I'm definitely getting more huckleberry than I am the Waltz blends. That's nice. And I like these little cookie shapes. How fun. <clears throat> Okay, and then we have uh, L3. This is on a focus. There we go. This will be good. Pink sugar, peppermint, and mallow fireside. It is so good. The peppermint is very, very cooling. I love this. Pink sugar is always going to be one of my favorites. It just gives it a creaminess, creamy marshmallow, vanilla, and then the mallow fireside comes in from behind. Oh, that is good. I like that. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your peppermint. <laughs> and that is it. Stephanie, you are amazing. Thank you so much for your kindness, for even thinking of me. Um, thank you for adding to my collection. <laughs> I can't wait to get this all sorted and put away. Thank you so much for the 
kindness that you have shared with me and my randomness and being cool with like my first outreach to you. I don't know, I've just always been drawn to you, drawn to your channel, your energy and your vibe is just something I look for in people that I want to know or, um, how do I say this? You're a cool chick. We appreciate you here on YouTube. Your channel is amazing and keep doing you, girl. You're amazing. So thank you so much for all of this. Um, I'm going to be working on getting your box ready because I have one for you. Um, I'm just waiting on payday so I can ship it. And my collection is not as big as yours, so there's only a little bit of wax in there. <laughs> but everything else I think you'll enjoy. So um, thank you. You guys have an amazing weekend. Enjoy your life, your melting, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.